from Appleton, Wisconsin. This is the Anderson Pens Podcast. Welcome to Anderson Pens Podcast, episode 455 for Thursday, September 8th, 2022. This week we have banter, news, updates, my ink of the week. By the way, my ink of the week this week has made me hungry. That's called foreshadowing. Oh. In addition, we have a recap of Hobonichi. We have news about the Sailor Special Nibs. We have uh, Sailors Don't Miss the Boat Sail. We have a contest winner, a new contest, and apparently nothing coming soon. Nothing coming Although, soon. Although I think we're going to mention something from um, Brian Gray. Edison, we can't talk about it yet, but we'll say something's coming. Something's we'll, coming. We'll, we'll say that in the future. Maybe. You got a joke for me? Uh, I do. Say, hey, Eric, um, do you want to... Do you want to hear my, uh, I've been working on impressions. Okay. And I've got this new impression. Do you want to hear my Batman impression? Up, up, and away! No, that's Superman. Oh, thanks, man. I've been working on it real hard for the last <laughs> that's Superman. couple of weeks. <laughs> I had one for you. You do? I, oh, no, I had. Past had. tense. Okay. You got rid of it? remember it now. Okay. Have you ever used a telescope? No. They're great. You should look into it. <laughs> Mr. Anderson. Yes. I am back, in case you didn't Welcome notice. back. Why, Welcome back. It's, it was, uh, we missed you. I, I missed all of you as well. Um, but I want to talk about the location bumper. Have you okay. seen it? I have not <laughs> seen it. I, last week it was California. I don't know what it is this week. I was going to say, last week was our most distant to date location bumper, because mm-hmm. that was La Jolla, California. Uh, that's where I took my daily morning rides. Yes. Uh, yes, you did a heck of a job. It was very nice, very nice. And we go from the most distant... To the closest one, which is Murray Photo, right next door. Right next door. Our okay. next door neighbor. Yes. Um, so uh, they carry a full line of cameras and accessories, including frames, lenses, flashes, bags, and more. And they know what they're doing. Uh, they've been in business for over 29 years, and they are our next door neighbor. Yep. yep. Um, there is actually one empty space between us, but they're our next, they're next door, door neighbor. neighbor. Yes. <laughs> but that wasn't always empty. It was like a schoolroom. Uh, yeah, it was a classroom. Yeah, that yeah, would not have made a good... No, yeah. not, not a good location bumper. But uh, but uh, Pat's been here for a long time. Uh, he's still one of the few uh, Photoshops around. Yeah, digital film, too. Digital, yeah. Which is... No, not digital. Uh, analog, analog, analog the, yeah. Prior to yeah, digital, yeah. Which, is, which is interesting. Um, uh, today, September 8th, is international... Can you read that for me? International Literacy Day. Very good, Mr. <laughs> International Literacy Day. The day focuses on the importance and value of literacy. The ability to read and write isn't only important for individuals, but for societies as a whole. Despite its importance, 775 million people across the globe are illiterate. One way to participate is by volunteering at your local library, where you can read to children and inspire a love for books and reading. You can also support... Uh, World Literacy Foundation. I'll have a link down below in the comment section. I was going to have another follow-up to this one, but after that, I couldn't go to a funny one. Okay. Because this is important. Yes. And I actually have a memory from my childhood of um, Sundays, we'd get the newspaper okay. when I was a kid, and uh, my father would read the comics, and he, oh. would, he would giggle to himself because it'd be funny. And I wanted to know what those said. I had to learn to read because I, I couldn't. I just so you could read the comics. Just so I could read the comics. The Sunday funnies. And we're going to talk about your pen in your pocket. But I actually have a pen in my pocket. You do. So yes. you can I was, either one I noticed it right away. You, you, you pilfered that from me. I did. I, I, I had help. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, yeah, I'm going to blame Justin. On YouTube, this Sunday, September 10th, Sunday Brunch returns with, as you're already aware, I'm sure, the dismantling of a Twisby uh, eco and an attempt to reassemble it. Yes. Now, there's been talk about doing this blindfolded or with your hands behind your back, but I, that wasn't, that was a joke. Are you going to try? We, we could blindfold. Well, we could we could see if we could do that. I will mention that we have not filmed this yet, <laughs> so anything's possible. <laughs> well, tomorrow I'm getting the newfangled COVID booster thing. Okay. Uh, so I have never had a bad reaction to a COVID booster. So, but if anything happens, we may not film it. Oh, okay. I was going to say, what does that have to do with the Twisby Eco? Gonna... It has to do with filming. Uh, oh, well, I, I see. Steph could step in. Yeah. Steph could step in. I have a. Uh, remember I said the ink of the week yes. <laughs> it made me hungry? Yes. That's because it's appetite. Appetite. 
Um, I still don't believe that's an actual mineral. But. Um, apatite is a group of phosphate minerals, usually something, something, and something. The mineral was named. Yes, it's a mineral. Huh. It, not a gemstone. Uh, what color do you think it is? It's like to a your turquoise okay, well, uh, green. Turquoise, yes. British turquoise, yeah. Do you see more green or more blue? I see more. Yeah, I see. It's... I see more <laughs> green. I don't know. I don't know either. Um, uh, it's a lovely color. Yes. Especially because yeah. you can't really define it. Yep. I can't decide if it's uh, a, a blue green or a green blue. I also can't decide whether it's calming or exciting. Do you think it's calming? I think it's kind of calming. It it's, depends on your it's, your mood at the moment, yes. I think. Yes. Okay. Um, no feathering, no show through, no bleeding. Terrific flow. Cleanup was a solid five. It was not very difficult. It was not, not very hard, easy. Not hard, not easy. Okay. Yeah. Um, we've been waiting for this. We've had it in bottles for quite some time. Yes. That yes. sell out and then come back and sell out. Finally, we had, I think we still have some on the shelf, so mm -hmm. we were mm -hmm. able to make the samples. So it is available in the 50 mil bottle. Gorgeous bottle. Yes, I love those bottles. Uh, and a three mil milliliter sample. It's very legible. Very legible. Very legible. What goes up and down but doesn't move? Stairs. Brian. Yes. Last week, <laughs> I drove back from California. You did. And I timed it so that I would get here the night you were going to put Hobonichi live on, on i got and you my, were promptly asleep i think by the time i i, no, I ordered mine right away well yes and then yes I went yours to were i got back at 7 p.m unloaded the car and then sat in front of the computer waiting and then i got mine when you made them visible mm -hmm. and then yes mm -hmm. i did go to bed um <laughs> so, but this is just i'm just bringing this up because i've seen you and steph talking about hobonichi and now it's my turn because i got my five year yes look at uh, that with the leather New cover, cover yep. uh and this is the the first time, I, I don't know if this is the first time they're making it in the A5 size or just the first time that we're no, allowed to No, it was the first time we're, we're, we carried it. We carried so, it. Yeah. So I've, I've tried the A6 before, and it wasn't quite enough room for each day. Mm -hmm. I need at least send, uh, one so full So do you segment. think you think that's going to be That's going to be perfect. That's going to be perfect. Because okay. okay. I don't want to okay. write a book every day. Okay. Just yeah, a, no, a no. A couple of thoughts. And I got my new cousin cover oh, with the cousin. Huh? Now, see, how which, many covers do you have? This is this size. This is my second one. I have oh, the black yes. one, which is my ink of the week Your book, ink of the week book. and this one, which they call violet, and I call eggplant. Yes, it's a very dark, very dark, very dark purple. purple. Yeah. Um, and now I just can't wait uh, till January. Now, what, are you going to put your do your ink of the week in here? No. Are you going to get another one? I'll do something. I'll figure something. You're going to do on the other pages. I don't know. In there, well, the, all I know is that this is for me. <laughs> That's what I say now. You <laughs> That's know, what you say. This now. one was for me too. <laughs> But uh, you got yours too, right? Uh, yeah. So uh, when I, what I'm looking at here is, uh, I, I, in, in, which Lisa reminds me that I have plenty of Techo covers. I have three of them, I think. One can never have too many covers. Uh, and I, I just decided I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just grab the, the refill, the A6, okay. and slide it in one of my covers yet to be, yet to be announced. Uh, but uh, And you, you uh, like that size. Uh, it's, it's, it's super low commitment, which I, I usually don't fulfill so see it's dangerous to show me these because i think they're a nice size it too. is a nice size yeah nice size yeah. one page per day you can get you can get a couple paragraphs in there if you write small yeah no no uh, so i've got the cousins I'm, I'm, I'm going with the a6 that's what i've used uh if, if i had a cleaner desk i might i might take your advice and use a cousin in one of these well years, mine does stay open on the desk yes and yes. so yeah, you've seen my desk but you I walk have, around i have no room yeah you for, usually keep something in your You've got something to write yeah. with in a pocket yeah, somewhere. Usually, yeah. you know, a little. And, and if they made if they made an A7, that would be cool. That, that would, be, <laughs> would cool. be cool. We could cut this in half. We could just get a guillotine, and then then you just have every other day. <laughs> no, the top <laughs> half would be every. Oh, day. okay, all right. <laughs> anyway, anyway, so I'm going with the A6. The entire Hobo line is available for sale, and it is shipping right yes. now. Yes. Some things are sold out. Yes, yeah, some things are are sold out now. Like, uh, like mine. That's why I jumped on yes, right away. Yes, yes. Both, both yeah. the, your five-year cover I, I and your violets. I knew we didn't get a lot, and yep. we never know how many are going to sell. But right. I always say, buy it now. Don't wait. Yeah. So we will get a, a, a reorder point uh, coming up. Usually, it's uh, right around the first of October. Uh, so in a couple of weeks, I'll get a, a notice from um, 
from Hobonichi that we can reorder. So I may be able to get some more, but it just depends on what they have left in stock. Right. Uh, so that that, they have, uh, I did have a question. Round two. That'll yes, be a round two. Yeah, there'll be a round two coming up in October. We usually do buy... Uh, place another smaller order uh, to fill in some of the gaps. So if there is something in specific, particular you're looking for, uh, sign up for back in stock notifications so we can gauge interest. Gauge you interest, know. yes. I do see quite a bit of Hobonichi yeah, I in st- places where uh, the camera can't see it, but usually it's, product is not here. It's, it's everywhere, yeah. <laughs> it um, everywhere. Although it's, it's much more organized this year than it was in the past. Uh, but uh, we still have, uh, as, of, as of shooting, we still have quite a... <laughs> large number of, of orders to fulfill yet so and you certainly have uh a6s left and the cousins yes yeah i believe uh, we still have those up, and yeah. and lots of covers and lots of covers weeks in weeks there. in weeks mega um the notebooks uh all, all the stuff so and uh, i heard that they were uh shipping with a sample sheet of the new formulation tomoe yeah, river and, and you threw yours away i didn't throw you, it away. you don't I know i didn't recognize it as a because it looks like a little it's, brochure it's a little tiny and actually it is almost almost a7 size uh a little so uh, it says test the tomoe, the tomoe river, river paper for coming to the 2024 so and, and this this will be the new paper for that uh, is almost an A7 size. Show yeah. the inside of yeah. that. It's, it's yeah. like, Isn't that great? <laughs> That's perfect. That's perfect for me. Um, but uh, this will be the paper for the, the A6 and the Cousin next year. But not the Weeks. But not the Weeks. The Weeks will retain the same Tomo River paper that is in this year for and was in last year. year. Yeah. So in two years, the Weeks will get, will get the new paper. So... Uh, okay. Now that we've got this out, and you can go home. Hey, I'm going to play with it. And it feels very nice. Back. Yeah, I can't imagine I, that it is. It's not going to be different enough for me to know. Yeah, I won't. I wouldn't notice it's a difference. Not going to be. A, I won't. But it, it's, it's nice to know nice. that they did that because that's mm-hmm. brilliant. Because it, it, people would have been worried about that. Yeah, there's, there's. I'm sure there's nothing to be worried about here. So, but yeah, I mean, they give me a nice little month. They give you some open spaces here. So. Yeah. Now I just have to find mine. Just have to find mine. A reminder. Uh, Sailor Naganata Togi and the Naganata Specialty Nib Fountain Pens. Yes, we special nib. Or somebody announced, I remember it was on the podcast, that Sailor is temporarily suspended accepting orders for these, the Naganata Togi and the Naganata, Naganata Specialty Nib Fountain Pens, uh, because they've been overwhelmed with orders. Yes, yes. And so there's no word on when they will start uh, accepting new orders. But... This is good news. We do we do have some, so they were yeah. able to uh, fulfill uh, our last couple of orders. So we do have a couple of pens uh, available. Um, we have a Fude, uh, an Emperor, uh, and I believe that might be an Emperor tab in a medium fine. Naganata Togi medium fine, uh, and a Concord, as well as we also have a Naganata Togi in broad with silver trim. Uh, the rhodium trim, so that's, that's the only one we have available in rhodium trim, and a Naganata Togi in medium fine, in gold trim, uh, available. So those five pens, no cross music, no cross Concord, no, no cross point. But a Fude is but a Fude is fun, and the Concord, the Concord is, the is the other way. Yeah, yep. yep. And I, I wish I wanted a broad because I would really get that that silver in the, yep. in the silver. Yeah. So those are all those are with gold trim except for that that Naganata Togi broad. Now some of these are in Chicago. Yeah, so most of them are going to be in Chicago. What I recommend is uh, the Naganata Togis you actually can order online. Um, but if you're going to stop down in Chicago, uh, give a call and uh, we'll... Uh, we'll but if you, you have know. any questions about the food day or the Emperor or the Concord, you can also call. Yes, yeah, you can call the Chicago store. Uh, Lisa will have those. Uh, those are coming in, well, yesterday. They, they, they're coming in yesterday. <laughs> they're coming in yesterday. Yeah. coming in yesterday. <laughs> so... Um, I think they're going to go because... I think so. Sailor, last time they did this, it was at least two years before they yes, started making yes, new... Yes, it was, yeah. And usually the Concord, the Concord, the Cross Concord actually is the most popular one we, uh, the, since they started it, but the Concord is very nice, and the who doesn't like a food egg? I what love is the, food the difference egg. between a Concord and a Cross Concord? The, the main difference, uh, so the Cross Concord obviously has the, the double layer, so it has an extra okay. layer on the top. But it's the same shape. It's sort of the same shape. It's not as as pronounced when you look at it, oh. because the Concord clearly is bent down. Yes, very much so. Um, and the Cross Concord doesn't ha- doesn't retain that that same look with the extra layer. Because it has that little point thing. On yeah. There. So what it does is it actually on the Cross Concord it gr- it's ground down to in a normal position an extra fine. And, of course, you know, double, triple broad and all that good stuff on the back. Whereas the standard Concorde is ground down to a fine in a normal position 
and then that same broad on the back. So it's not quite as fine as the cross Concord, but it's very nice. In fact, I think it's a, um, I, I hate to use the term more usable, but it's uh, it's a little bit smoother with that fine nib than with the extra fine. Which one is more usable? The Concord. The Concord, the Concord, Concord yeah. The one that we have is more The one usable. that we have is more usable, yeah. yeah. Speaking of Sailor, uh, we didn't mention this last week. We, we um, completely we forgot could have. it. We yes. were so much into Hobonichi. I was in time. Hobonichi um, zone. Sailor, I, I'm going to say they do this every year, but this is the second year. This is the done. second year? It's, it's don't miss the boat sail. Um, I, I think where they allow us to discount heavily. Uh, yeah, we can go up to 40% off of MSRP on select discontinued models so the discontinued models because i have one here so we we've got yeah, a few left abanero and uh, i have the pro gear slim yeah, we do have it in the large as well and i i think this is 150. it's very inexpensive uh, it's very is <laughs> extremely tempting yes. two-tone nib um now these are available primarily in you know what nibs i have left are the nibs that well, yeah this is all while supplies left. this is while supplies yeah, because left, they're discontinued so. Uh, we, uh, I know that it is the Pro Gear Fika. So that's this guy here, the, the two tone blue. The two tone blue, the Abanero Pro Gear, mm -hmm. and we have both sizes. Pro Gear Go USA. Yeah. Is that this one? Yeah, this is this red with uh, the white on the ends and then the blue section. The red, white, with and blue. With sparkles? Yep, with, with sparkles. sparkles, yep. And then the, the gold, single tone gold nib. Nice, nice. Again, excellent price. The key limes, uh, yep. both sizes. Yep, large and uh, 1911 large and standard. And we don't have them in front of us, but pen of the year 2021, which was a 1911. Yes, large, yeah, that lo lovely cranberry, cranberry, cranberry uh, sparkly color. Uh, and so. uh, perhaps by the time you see this video, we'll still have an ocean. Yes, Pro Gear Slim at that price, it's gone. There's uh, one, uh, I one remaining. I think <laughs> it's a Slim. Yeah, yeah. I see. I, I find the Pro Gear Slim just a little too small. For my hand. Yeah. I, Lisa I think really likes them. She, Lisa loves them. They're perfect for her. Um, but the price makes it so... It does. It does, yeah. Like, I, oh, I could probably live with that. Yeah, and it, you know, what is it? What did we say? 150-ish? 150, on the, yeah. On the, the Abanero Slim with the little... You got the little chili pepper on there, jalapeno on there. Stop, stop. <laughs> Justin needs one. Justin needs one. <laughs> so, yeah. So, uh, so we've, we've got, we've got a, a, a small selection of those left, and... Um, Get them while you can. The sale goes through the end of the month. Through the end of the month, but yep. more importantly, it's while supplies last. Yeah. Because can't get any more because they are yeah. discontinued. What do you call a sleeping bull? A bulldozer. Brian. Yes. As you may recall, I was not here last That's correct. Last week. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, Stefan and I had a good time. Yeah. And you two invented your own contest question. Uh, well, we had to. Because mm -hmm. I didn't provide you. You provided so, minimal good for assistance you. Good for you. Uh, during your week off. Minimal? Did he just say minimal? Anyway. What, do you remember what the question was? <laughs> um, <laughs> what is your favorite Retro 51? Right. And, uh they were all over the map because there are yes. so many well, retro 51s. Lot, yeah. There are so many. Yeah. I will tell how many, you. How many do you have? I have exactly one. You have one? And it is a Palmer. It is a Palmer. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm, I'm honored. Thank you. Because it was a gift. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say the most mentioned of all of them was the Retro 51 Anderson Pens exclusive Palmer. 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 Here it is. George, um, George said it was the nicest pen he ever made. Who's George? George uh, George Cartsotis, the the, uh, the founder of Retro 51. Retro 51. Yeah. Uh, that was the most mentioned. Frequently mentioned was the Tesla. Mm. I said that might be my favorite. I said, I know it's new, but it is really cool. I like it, yeah. Tesla, Albert Einstein, Corsair, and Buzz. Mm -hmm. Buzz was that B. Yes, thing. yes. Still available, yep. And then also mentioned, Space Invaders, Ooh. Playball, Platinum Jubilee Special Edition from the UK, Emily Dickinson, All Copper, Crossword Pencil, Rescue yeah. Cats, Vintage Metalsmith Chromatic, Rosie the Riveter, Dr. Gray, Jefferson, Smithsonian Pandas, Vintage Metalsmith Douglas, Classic Lacquer in Peacock, P-51 Mustang, Harriet Tubman, Discovery, Apollo Space Race, Terabyte, hey. Woodland Hummingbird, Bamboo Turtle, Big Shot, and Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday yes. was, was well, one of the last there. ones. Well, uh, I think it was the last. I, I have it on my on my desk. Do you? Yep. Well, that's I didn't know that. 
I, I mean, you, you, I don't. I don't collect retro fifty once. They collect me. They collect you. Um, comments. We got a comment from Mike Madison. Mike, Mike how you doing, Mike? Ink dependence. Yeah, Mike Madison. Or plant says, dependence, depending on depending on the day, depending on or the, the day. hour. I love the aerospace and space themed retro. So today I'll say it's discovery. Tomorrow I will say the metal system. Can't pick just one. Mm. It is difficult to pick because yes. there are so many, and many are lovely. John Park, for instance, says. I love those Retro 51 pens. My favorite one is always and forever will be the next one I purchase <laughs> to add to my wife's collection. Ah, okay. That will probably be the, the Tesla, uh, which will maintain that ranking until the next one comes out. Yeah, that's a good... I haven't... Dave and I have been talking about that here for two weeks The now. Tesla? The Tesla, it yeah. It is cool. It's a cool it looking pen. It is cool. Yeah. It feel, too. I, I, yeah. yeah. And I like the Metal Smith. That's, that's my favorite. Because they favorite. have a little texture to them. Mark Brandon says, the Palmer is fetching, though for the life of me, I've never been able to find the Anderson <laughs> Pens logo. It is not a logo. It's just an A and a P. It is, it is an A and a P. And yep. here is a Palmer. <laughs> and you couldn't find it? No, I gave up. I, I, I actually, when, when they first sent us the, uh, uh, the mock-up, I gave up after about 10 minutes. Well, I remember seeing it in the mock-up because they showed, it where, showed us where it is, but I can't find I it couldn't, again. I couldn't find I it. Yeah. Find Do you, it you don't remember where it is? Nope. Should we tell people where it is? I think they might like to know where it's, it is. It's it, not it, the A. It's spoiler not, alert. It's not the A in the square like it, it is no, on the terabyte. The it's an A and a P. Uh, it's an A and a P, and it is at the top. In a corner, right? In a corner. This corner? Right by the head of the peacock. To the right of right the head. Right in the corner. Right in the corner. So he's... Oh, it's very stylized. Looks like leaves. Yes, it, it looks, looks like, like leaves. leaves. Okay. Yes, yes. So it's an A and a P, and they look like leaves. They're very difficult they do, to spot. Yeah. Yeah, but they're right, there. It's right, it's right by the peacock. I wonder side. if there's really an A and a P, or they just said, oh, tell them it's an A and a P. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, to the right of the head of the peacock, up in the corner. Yep. Ta-da. I have a winner. Great. A winner has been chosen for last week's contest. Was it twenty dollars gift certificate? Yep. Okay. I'm sure it was. The winner is Speedbird. 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 Whose comment was? I got the Tuesday Retro Fifty One. It was the last model before they sold the company to the new owners. It's blue and green and iridescent and has aliens and UFOs on it. Love the colors and the images, and I get lots of compliments on it. Purchased from AP, and I've got number two fifty nine of nineteen fifty one. It's special in so many ways. This person likes this yeah. pen. And you know, there's a, a George is on there, and his dog is on there too. If we just like the A and the P, it's hard uh, to find. A, a George actually has a G on him, and oh, then okay. there's a little dog, and that's his. That's oh. his. That's his dog. Very cool. Very cool. So Speedbird. You, there. Whoever you are, Speedbird, please write to me, Eric at AndersonPens.com, and I'll take care of getting twenty dollars credit onto your Anderson Pens account. I have additional comments. Okay. One is from Andrew Wells, who says, "Is Eric using his vacation pens on his vacation?" Andrew, Andrew is, he's up on this. He's up on this. Yeah. And I took exactly one pen with me. And one of them was, the one I took was one of my vacation pens. It was the Petit Prongs. Ah. Okay. Guess how much I used it. Zero. Absolutely not at all. I did not <laughs> write a thing. I was gone for almost two weeks. Uh, yeah, but we it was a three-day drive and then yes. so many days three of back. all kinds of work and bicycling yep. and, uh, and then three days back. But it was with me every step of the way, just in case. Just in case. George Moore says, I wish Hobonichi made yearless undated journals. I really like filling mm. in the dates myself. No, Don't they? That, that, no. Oh. Don't they have that would that would be great for me because then I could just have one, they and then I would never. They have notebooks, they have notebooks but notebooks. they're not. They don't have a date. Oh, what well, says undated? An undated journal. journal. Well, they it's, have. It's a notebook. Well, I guess it doesn't have a place for a date though. Well, you could put it up on the top. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say George. They do. A five and A six. A five and A six. Their graph yes. notebooks with the Tomoe River paper. Um, maybe not as thick as as a. But if you don't use a page no, a day, yeah. Thin, um, yeah. So uh, I'm going to say check those out. Uh, Arabella Holtzaffel says, uh, uh, just have a seat, it's a long one. Y'all convinced me to join the Hobonichi retail cult. I ordered a techo last night, shortly after you and Hobonichi lifted the embargo. Embargo. <laughs> <laughs> I went with the A6 techo because I think that's the original size format. I believe that is correct. Yes, yep. 
and I thought that would be the best starting point to get a real sense of what Hobonichi is about. I'm going to agree with that. I started with the same, the A, the the A6, mm -hmm. and now I have 20 A5s. Besides, <laughs> I get kind of a thrill when I write with tiny letters with fine or extra fine nib, so A6 will work for me, I think. And I do recommend a fine or an extra fine for a, a, yeah, a you, Hobonichi. Yeah, and you're not going to you're going to fit three words on the page. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm going to take, take a guess, though. Uh, Arabella uses pilots because she did this. Oh, she did this. Brackets, fine or extra fine. She, she will let us know. She will let us know. Pilots. And then Thorson Black says, I am brand new to fountain pens and even actually caring about pens and paper. I will say openly that over the past month, I have become a fanatic of stationery and pens, thanks to Anderson Pen's podcast. And uh, to that, I can only say, you're welcome. <laughs> I mean, we should apologize, but no, it was inevitable. We're here so, to help. Glad to have you here, Thors Thorson. Thorson. Thorson Black. Thorson Black. Um, I have a new contest. Do you have one this week? I do. Okay. I, have it. I don't I know have, what it is. I even have permission to use it. You have permit? Oh, yes. oh my goodness. If you may recall, <laughs> I was in California. Yes. Recently. Very recently. While I was in California, however, something else happened. Something important happened. You probably don't even know. I have no idea what's going Justin on. Justin got married. See? He didn't know. <laughs> Congratulations, Justin. He is, he is behind the camera. Does he really have a ring? He's got a ring Show in his ring. He's got a ring in his That's the only reason what? I knew. I made him tell me. So we this invited? week's contest, I think it was just... Parents. Oh, yeah. That's, parents. What they, that's what they say. <laughs> that's what they mm -hmm. say. It's probably, you know, 500 people. No, I wasn't invited. You didn't oh. even know. So, but uh, happy for Justin. Congratulations. Very yeah. happy for Justin. Very nice. Uh, um, this is a long time in coming. Um, <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> I don't know whose idea it was. Um, okay. So, this week's, uh, uh, to enter this week's contest is just say congratulations to, to Justin. Because uh, it's not every day. that I think it's the first time he's gotten married. This is his first time. Oh. I think so. I well, think let's so. hope it's the last one. Let, let's hope. Let's hope. Um, one comment of congratulations. will be selected next week at random for a $20 gift certificate to your Anderson Pens account. Awesome. Brian. Yes. Uh, I have something here in coming soon. Yes. Um I wanted to mention, I want to remind everyone that the ink vent calendar will be here soon. Yes. Yeah, um, it usually, usually comes in October. October, that's... It's next month. Soon. Soon. So yeah. Sign up it for could back be, and stock It could be any, any week now. I, they will go just like that. They will yeah, go very surprisingly, quickly. Yeah, surprisingly. Mm -hmm. It is surprising because they're a little pricey, but it's a lot of ink. And this ink vent calendar has uh, coming soon has reminded me <laughs> that uh, <laughs> we just got these in. Yes, yes. And we these... Just got what are these? These are the, um, uh, this is the blue, the Inkvent blue edition. So from the Inkvent, the inks from the Inkvent calendar of 2019. 2019, that's oh, okay. correct, yes. But look at these feet. Yes, and these so they have these so cute. adorable glass bottles with little feet on them. Uh, and then they have all the colors, there's 25 have, colors from the Inkvent calendar. I have Nutcracker, uh, so I don't know what color that is. Uh, I have Ho Ho Ho. That's probably red. That's red, yeah. This is going to be chestnut or yeah. something. Uh, 25 colors. 25 the 25 colors, colors. yep. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. I, I just want the bottles. Yeah, they're, they're super. Bottles. They're super fun. They're super fun bottles. Now, I am a fan of diamond minings. I forget about you. You're a uh, sailor person. Uh, uh, I like sailor too. But, diamond's uh, great. Diamond's yeah. great. Mm -hmm. I like diamond and these bottles. Have I mentioned the bottles? <laughs> so uh, we wanted to talk about those, but forgot because it isn't in the on the paper. But when we got to ink vent calendar, it reminded me. Yeah. So blue blue is in. Uh, red is red is coming. Blue is not the color of the ink, though. Blue That's correct. It's the, the edition. line, the edition, yes, so. which was 2019. Red is from 2020. Uh, red was last year. So we're in 2022, so that'd be 2021. Yeah, I think so. And green. What green, green is this year. Green is this year. This year is good, what called the green edition. For the edition. ink vent yep. calendar that is coming soon, for which, full circle, you should sign up for back in stocks. <laughs> I also want to mention that something new is coming from Edison this week that we can't talk about. Awesome. Brian Edison, uh, Mr. Edison himself, says he's going to announce it either Thursday or Friday. If he had said Thursday, we might have been able to talk about we it. We might have been able to. But if he does it on Friday, we can't talk about it a day ahead of time. So watch for something from Edison. Because um, I've seen the pictures. Yeah. And they're kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. Kind of cool. Yeah, I think so. I think this is going to be a good one. I think so, too. 
Um, it's This says to go over there somewhere. Over there. Thanks for joining us. Tune in next time for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. You can check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. Is there a store in Chicago? There is a store in Chicago. It's the ground floor of the Palmer House Hilton. Open seven days a week. You'll find Lisa there. Chicago.AndersonPens.com. Does it have a website? It does. What's the address? Yes. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Chicago.AndersonPens.com. Like this video and consider subscribing to our channel. And it's a sailor, but and it's green. I don't know what else it is, though. This is Pro-gear the ocean. King of, King of Pen Ocean. Ocean. Okay. So, so can't get it. Uh, this was the last one, and I, last I, one. I, I... Is that your number one or something? No, that's, no, no, that's a different pen. Uh, but we do have a slim coming. What a beautiful slim color ocean. That Isn't that is. nice? That's it's just so you know, that pretty. That would go really yes. well with Appetite. It might. It might. Just, just for fun. Put it up against Put it up against there. there. Yeah, a little more oh, green. it's darker, it's not, it's not it? quite darker, as turquoise. Yeah, it's more turquoise. From across the room, they look lovely yes, together. Yes, yes. You know what I have? Uh, you, ha- you have something that's quite original. It is the Kaveco original, ah. and I think I got the 250. The 250. Kaveco. That's the larger of the nibs. Yes. Uh, and aluminum, and just gorgeous. It is a nice just gorgeous. Yeah. And I actually have a pocket in my shirt. So I, just, so I said, weird. okay, I'm going to make a pen. And I have uh, words of wisdom, words of wisdom. Uh, yes, remember, carrot juice is also orange juice. Bye.